Like other male adult Muslims, this old man began Eid al-Adha with a morning prayer at a mosque. Such a big religious service like this usually happens twice a year, one for the end of Ramadan two months ago and one for the Eid al-Adha or Corban festival. Yang Hong Mosque has attracted about 10,000 followers. The Muslims here are mostly Uyghurs, an ethnic minority in China. For such an occasion like this, they break out in dances, even in the ever solemn mosque. After their prayers, they all make their way home for what might be a bloody affair. That's right, the slaughtering of lambs. I live in this building. They sell lambs here, and this is very convenient for me. They can also slaughter the lambs here. It's such a good business. Old man Sherib bought a lamb from Hasim a week ago. He has been selling them for the past 20 years. <laughs> I've sold over a hundred lambs for this festival. Each lamb can bring me about 100 or 200 yuan. Slaughtering a lamb is a tradition for each Muslim family on this day. And judging from his takings, it's clear that they take this tradition very seriously. The festival has a very important meaning. The lamb to be slaughtered should be healthy. Its ears, eyes and legs need to be normal. Some people, though, will choose lean or fat lambs. This is something rarely seen in other parts of China. Some sellers will keep lambs here at a residential area for people to buy. The seller here has already sold a hundred lambs and is expecting to sell the rest of them out today. The lambs seem to know what their fate will be, but they can't avoid it. The lambs, once slaughtered, are quickly turned into a dish. It will be served as part of a family feast and also to the guests. Sharif says his three other children and their families have yet to arrive. So just imagine how much bigger the meals and gatherings this family will see in the coming days. Xinjiang.